everyone welcome and welcome back to my channels in today's video we're doing another paper squishy remake and a lot of you guys seem to enjoy this type of video so i really appreciate it and yes i've done two episodes before so if you guys haven't seen them be sure to check them out i will leave a link to that playlist in the description below so basically i just take my old paper squishies and somehow try to recreate them to see what improvement I can make. So here are the victims for today's video. As far as I remember, I've made them like one or two years ago. All right, what do we have here? A cake roll paper squishy. So not to mention, I didn't do the back of this one because if you know me, in the past, I just want to get things done and I was more excited for the squishing part. So most of the time, whenever I make paper squishies, I don't do the back. And as for the squishiness of this paper squishy, I think it has like a different feeling to me because most of the time I stuff my paper squishies with plastic bags, but for this one, I use pillow stuffing. So yeah, the squishiness is not bad, I will say. It's a bit fast rising, but it's really soft. So yeah, that's what I really like about it. And for the design, not a huge fan. I used to love this, but not anymore so I think maybe there's something we can do about it so let's let's do it of your cape roll and then you want to cover the whole thing in tape only one side guys you don't have to tape the back but yeah make sure to leave some tape on the edges um, I'm literally filming outside right now because the electricity has been cut off all right next I'm gonna make several cuts on the tape like this so again guys I'm not filming properly right now because yeah, like I said, I had to film outside of the house because inside is really dark right now. Alright, the electricity is back. Now I can finally go back inside too.
next one we have this awkward looking ice cream cone so as you can see i mean it has a lot of details because of the black line i will say again i didn't do the back and for some reason the cone looks really pointy and i think it looks really thin almost like a stick so um that's kind of fail and here you can see the flesh of this ice cream the plastic didn't make it all the way to the bottom of the cone so it is just really flat and there's a lot of things going on with this ice cream cone So last one we have this donut paper squishy. Why am I holding this with one finger? It broke apart. I don't remember when, but um, this donut is definitely one of the worst paper squishy I've made because the squishiness is really bad. I don't think I should call this a squishy because it's just you know it's hard to say it's not fun maybe because of the size and as well as the shape that makes it less satisfying to squish 
But yeah, you can see the plastic coming out and the taping job wasn't the best. And as you can see, the frosting, no, the icing of this donut, there used to be sprinkles on it. It's still on there, however, the sprinkles kind of spread underneath the tape so now it creates this very cool vibrant colors i kind of like it but it's definitely not a good squishy so i think it's time to make a new one ask me i would say many things have changed so we have come from 2d to 3d paper squishies the change in sizes and now we have better quality paper squishies a lot bigger more fun to squish and most importantly the effort and time that i put into making the new ones are just a whole new level nevertheless none of that can change my love for the old ones I just feel really attached to my old paper squishies because basically they are where my journey began so 
I still love them and of course I'm still gonna keep them I'm not gonna throw them away If it wasn't because of my old paper squishies, I wouldn't have come this far Guys, I noticed that this part of the ice cream just look a little bit off. I do feel a little bit uncomfortable just by looking at it, but imperfection is part of reality. Right, guys? That's it for today, guys. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video and somehow it inspires you. If you guys like to see more content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!